Peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope that you are living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages at this time. What message do you have? Hmm. Five of Wands. This is conflict. This is... Hmm. I'm hearing competing. Some folks competing for something. Okay, that's the energy that's coming forward here. Five of Wands. There's some fire energy here. Okay. Tell us more about the Five of Wands. I'm going to use this deck as well. I'm being led to use this deck as well to get more information about this Five of Wands competition. Okay. Tell us more. Okay. That came out very quick. All right. So, Five of Wands, getting the energy of balance. This came out yesterday as well. Um,. So there's competition, competition for, mm, competition to alchemize, competition to, uh, to balance, to bring forth. So this is the, the two of pentacles, okay? Competition for, I'm getting the energy of balancing things. It may be some financial to balance finances, to balance competition regarding some some money, competition regarding something having to do with pentacles. Okay, tell me more about the um, tell me more about the five of wands. Okay, so I'm getting the sense that these are people competing for something to reach something. Okay. Competition. Okay, I'm also getting the Six of Wands. This is also This is also success. This is victory. This is recognition. So you may have some you may have some folks competing with you is what spirit is saying. Yeah, and this is this is also giving the same energy too. Like in this card, you see this individual. It's like you know this person's trying to balance uh, resources, trying to balance. Uh, you know, I'm getting some some finances here. So you may have some folks right now in this energy that are trying to balance their pentacles, and they may be wanting to compete. Okay, and. You know, spirit is saying, like, these are folks, these are folks who are not aware of the abundance, you know, that, that there's, that's, that there's enough to go around. Like in this, in this five of wands here, they're trying to reach, they're trying to reach for, it's like they're trying to reach for the stars. And it's like they're not even realizing that they're not even standing on solid ground. Okay? They're, these are people that are not even aware that, you know, they don't have, uh, that they may be lacking the tools necessary in order to reach, um, to reach for the stars is what I'm hearing. And I'm also getting the same energy from here. Um, I'm really getting the sense that this is really speaking on perhaps, you know, you may know people in this type of energy that are trying to balance out their pinnacles, their uh, their resources, their finances. Uh, they're looking to win, you know, they're looking to win. Um, <laughs> they're looking to win at all costs. And some of them in this process, they're actually like sabotaging themselves. 
not realizing that like instead of working together they're working against each other not realizing that if they work together uh that their chances of actually you know going up um and reaching for the stars is higher you know you can even see it in this card here like you have a whole bunch of folks and they have their the these you know they have these wands everywhere trying to figure out how to you know get to the top not realizing that the best way that they can do that is to work together and look at this you even have homegirl right here you know she's even stepping on this dude's you know she's even stepping on this dude's hands not realizing that you know by stepping on his hands she's actually like causing her downfall so right now scorpio spirit is saying that you know you have a lot of folks around your energy that are literally competing for what you have they're literally competing for your fire okay and what they are doing right now is literally sabotaging themselves look at this like she is literally sabotaging her life not even knowing this like stepping on this dude's you know stepping on i think it's a girl stepping on yeah oh look at this this is even more wow this is very even more significant because look at this like one two three four five right okay it's only two females okay three males and essentially all of them are trying to reach the same trying to get to trying to get to the top trying to reach the stars trying to you know go higher and it's only two females in here and look at and look at home girl like the only other female in here like she's literally like stepping on her stepping on her hand stepping on on the one that could have potentially moved her higher up she's stepping on her on her hand therefore it's not not realizing that by by stepping on her hand she's sabotaging her own life so you got some folks around you right now scorpios that in trying to get success and victory trying to get to the top they're sabotaging their own life they're literally stepping on their own mm, they're sabotaging themselves is what spirit is saying they're trying to get to the light they're trying to get to your light they see your light shining bright shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond they are trying to they're trying to get your light <laughs> here you are here you are shining bright like a diamond okay and many of you are actually having a lot of success and victory and recognition in doing this okay and you got some folks and and at this point spirit is saying they're not even in the background you know you've seen them okay spirit alerted you to these folks you see them you've seen them in your dreams you've seen them you know while you were astral astral traveling okay these folks are literally trying to you you are at the top you are moving further in your walk further in your walk with the divine you are seeing more clearly and you got some folks in the background who are thinking that you know whatever it is that you got you know they want it okay they want they want the they want the pentacles they want for many of you they see your success in relation to you know your finances they see your victory you know by way of the recognition that you're receiving at this time and they are literally the num the number five could be significant in this case there there may actually be you know a lot of different people and i'm really getting this energy of this 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 female here you know some female figure low vibrational like ish type of stuff who's literally trying to you know sabotage who's who's literally trying to to remove you from your position not realizing that she she's actually <laughs> she's actually bringing her own self down and look at this yeah reaching for the stars that's exactly what they trying to do they're reaching for the stars they are trying to they're trying to reach for something hope they're reaching for recognition okay they want to be recognized without even having to do the work okay 
you are you are a light worker okay scorpios you are a light worker you see things before they happen and you got these folks in the background who are literally reaching for your light <laughs> how could you touch light you can't touch it you can't touch it they're reaching for your light because they're desperate for healing and they think that that's the way that they can go about doing it and 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 you know, they're getting a, a rude awakening. Look at this. They're fighting. These are folks who are fighting for this. Like, they're literally fighting, okay, to get your light, to reach. They're trying to reach your light, okay? They're trying to get there, okay? And some of you may even be getting... Um, may even be getting some advances in your relationships, um, I'm also getting the energy from here with this Knight of Cups here that uh, many of you are finding that, you know, your ability to communicate things is becoming a lot more heightened at this time. And spirit is, you know, putting you in a position. Spirit is putting you in the spotlight for a reason. And you got these folks who literally like they're watching this. They're watching this. And I'm getting this strong energy of this woman who's just like, you know, who's 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 trying to I mean, look at her like she's not only kicking her hand, she's kicking her feet. OK, she's trying to do everything to keep her, you know, from getting to the top. And while she's doing that, the very tool that she is that this person has <sighs> spirit is saying that y'all got the tools that these folks need to heal y'all have y'all have the magic wand you have the tools necessary for these folks to heal and they're literally sabotaging their own life by 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 trying to sabotage your life by trying to sacrifice you. They're trying to sacrifice you in order to get to the top. Look at this, look at this, you know, look at this. Like she literally is like, listen, oh, okay. You wanna get up there? Mm -mm, you ain't getting up there. And not realizing that this, this, this woman was holding the wand, okay? She was holding the wand that may be the very thing that she needed to get to the top. And spirit is saying that that's not you falling. These are these are representing attempts because you are rising. You are rising to your divinity. You are rising as the star. You saw that, you know, the star card appeared to let you know that you are the star. Okay, you are the light. You are the light worker, the light bearer that and they trying to they trying to get that light. Look at this. They trying to get that light. They're trying to reach it. And in the process, it's like they all falling down because they don't even know how to work together. Y'all don't even know anything about light. <laughs> Your spiritual team is saying, what y'all know about light? Can you touch it? <laughs> and spirit is saying many of you are actually, you, you represent a lot of fire energy. So if they try to touch you, it's they A's because they're going to get burned. Mm -hmm. Look at you as the hierophant. Okay, on the bottom. Again, we said number five was significant. All right? Five signifies five represents change. Five represents beginnings, you know. And, and as the hierophant here, you know what's going on. You've been alerted by spirit. You've been alerted by spirit regarding the, the, the light worker that you are. You hold the light. You are the light. Okay, I'm getting some Taurus energy here too. So there's a lot of growth coming towards you. And growth recognition um, coming towards you at this time. Okay. Conflicts. That's what they, that's what they cause them for themselves. Okay. Oh, okay. Queen of Swords. All right. So 
Mm. Spirit is also saying that, you know, <laughs> you are holding the sword of destiny in your hand. You're holding the sword of destiny of your hand. This also, this queen of swords, um, this queen of swords, I'm getting the energy that it represents you. Like you're not playing. Okay. Spirit is saying you're not playing. You're not playing when it comes to your to your finances. You're not playing when it comes to your spirituality. You're not playing when it comes to folks trying to like mind F you and play mind games with you. Okay. And this is part of the reason why these folks are in conflict at this time. Because they didn't know that they were being met by the Queen of Swords. Very perceptive. Keen insight. Okay. For many of you, I'm really getting this strong energy that the divine walks with you in many ways. And one of the ways that the divine walks with you is through birds i keep really getting like this strong bird energy like representing your spirit guides and for some of you it may not be birds it's just spirit animals the animals you you have this gift you have this gift of being able to communicate with the divine you have the this gift of being able to communicate with nature okay and and nature is able nature allows you to balance things out so that way you don't fall you don't get out of balance like some of these folks they're they're like they're out of balance and they're trying to they they don't even know anything about balance okay y'all trying to get to something that is divine not realizing or not even acknowledging that you need to have balance in order to get to the divine they can't get to you because they don't know nothing about this thing called balance, okay? Balance energy, ma'at energy, okay? Their third eye chakra is, mm, okay, is what spirit is saying. Their third eye chakra, they, they, they need some work on that. And some of these folks literally are trying to bring you down through gossip, okay? Some of these folks are literally trying to bring you down through gossip, I'm getting strong communication energy here with this Queen of Swords, which is, you know, which is a card also tapping into the realm of communication, the realm of thought. You know, they're literally trying to instill negative perceptions of you to folks as if that's going to allow them to get what you have. You know, as if dimming your light is going to let their light come quicker. It, or as if dimming your light is going to let their light shine brighter. No concept at all. Like they're living in illusions. That's what that's what's going on here with this with this seven of cups. They're li they're living in illusions. Okay, they're they it's, it's it's like they're living a fantasy. Okay, you have a lot of folks right now who have you know ill intentions towards you. Okay, and they have no clue who you are. Okay, they see you shining bright. They see this light burning bright and they think that, you know, that's something that they can actually imitate. You can't imitate you. Oh, I'm here. Imitated, never duplicated. All right, spirit. Okay, they're living a fantasy is what spirit is saying. Okay, this pros this prosperity that you have um, being prosperous, fertile. And, and, and grounded, it's something that took work. And many of them don't even know this. Okay. All right. Let's get more information about the six of wands. Success, you know, six of wands representing recognition, victory, awards. This is all you right now as this light beam. Okay. You are the light. And Spirit has really been giving a lot of, um, you know, downloads about light stay in the light okay this is this is what's this is what's happening right here like they literally like they see your success and victory and they're like this is confirmation regarding what we said previously they are trying to dim your light thinking that that is going to enliven theirs they think that by dimming your light it's going to bring forth their light they're sadly mistaken and they're trying to do this trying to sabotage 
you know, what you have going, whatever it is that's bringing you success and victory. Um, they, for some reason, and this is also giving air energy here, okay? This is also giving, um, like, communication, a lot of thought. Like, these are folks, you know, literally deep in their thoughts thinking that your ending is going to bring them their beginning. Hmm. They are in their heads thinking that your ending is going to bring their beginning. Say that again. They are in their heads thinking that your ending is going to bring their beginning. And now what is Spirit is saying? They're going to have to walk away. They're going to have to walk away. Yep, and they are walking away is what Spirit is saying. Okay, they're walking away. Why? Because they're starting to realize Look at this, all this energy of them being like restricted, like whatever it is that they thought that they could do to dim your light, to take you away from the spotlight, to take you away from your awards and recognition. Right now you got folks, you know, whose spirit is literally like they're feeling trapped because they don't know what to do at this point. They don't know what to do at this point because their concept of success <laughs> you know they're they're literally being whooped like their their a's are being whooped right now by spirit they're in in extreme you know anxiety because whatever it is that they thought that they could do to <laughs> bring life to them whatever they thought they could do to bring light spirit is saying they don't even have the concept of light how could you get that Okay, how could how could you how could you become what you don't even know? Hmm, that's a thought. Okay, more information about this is the nine of wands. This is this is resiliency. This is also I'm getting the energy that these are you know this is also tapping into the energy of you know these these folks who are in the ongoing battles here okay for some of you there's a there's a strong female figure coming coming out um it may be a fire sign okay uh who i'm hearing sabotage who is that person this is this okay this is this is that female figure that was you know that energy that was being picked up earlier you have there's a strong female figure a fire sign someone who is looking at you as you know they're looking at your business they're looking at you thriving whatever it is that you're doing um they see that you're well liked and they got some issue with that okay they got some it they got some issue with your success and they've really been like putting in some work in the background literally i'm hearing that this person has been digging up dirt on you okay they literally like this person may even be the kind of person that goes on your social media page you know under a fake profile you know trying to befriend you you know like like i guess the the new generation not i guess okay spirit what the junior what the new generation call frenemies okay you know someone pretending to be your friend but it really an enemy so this person may literally like be on your social media page pretending to be a friend pretending you know pretending to be you know a hey sis you know what i'm saying that kind of ish okay and literally what they're doing is digging up dirt on your stuff digging up dirt on what you doing trying to figure it out and spirit is saying hmm <laughs> ah i'm confirmation i'm i'm hearing i'm hearing what is this, the saying um replicated but never duplicated okay basically you know they could copy you but they can never be the same thing okay you could be you you could be the copy but you can never be the original is what i'm hearing you got this chick right here excuse me <laughs> okay spare you got this chick right here who's literally like you know looking into what you doing okay they're literally looking at what you're doing and many of you have you know whatever it is that you're doing you are very giving you are very generous um you are giving to others and they're trying to figure out how to do that and spirit is saying they don't even mm, 
get some knowledge okay that's what i'm hearing get some knowledge get some self-knowledge okay in this in this uh pentacles here in this in this page of pentacles here i'm getting the sense that this this is this is someone like literally this is also representing you know this person this queen of wands who's literally trying to like <laughs> dig dirt on you they're trying to learn everything that they can like you know and you got this th like this person is literally like in their mind tired trying to figure you out trying to figure out what you got going on literally they're trying to figure out how to how did you get your success how did you come into your success so quickly because you know they they <laughs> For many of you like they don't they don't know they can't figure it out they can't figure it out they can't figure out how you became a success how what action steps did you take you know how is it that your business is taken off how, whatever it is that you're doing many of you are this is relating to communication how is it that you know your your business um your your stability how is it able to, to 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 take off so fast okay and they're trying to track you and that's one thing that they they couldn't figure out okay um and and spirit is also saying something about intuition too so your intuition may have alerted you to all these things that are going on um or this person is really trying to tap into whatever it is that you got going on okay Okay, let's get some information about the Hierophant here. Okay, this is you represent, you know, I'm, I'm hearing High Priestess. So many of you are High Priests and Priestesses here. Uh, you are tapped into Divine Knowledge. I'm hearing Akashic Records with this Hierophant here. Okay. Uh, this, for, for, for many of you, this this represents your connection to the divine okay you are extremely tapped in you are connected to the divine and for some of you this also re uh, represents a commitment you know some 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 commitment that you've come into a relationship a very recent relationship that you've come into that that folks around you are looking you know it is it's, it's causing folks literally you know to like you know i'm getting this image of like you know someone you ever seen someone who's in a car and literally like they almost like break their neck trying to look you know at something or they almost like have an accident because they so instead of focusing on the road you know they too busy you know trying to t trying to see what's going on outside the car you got some of these folks who are literally like driving off a cliff at this point okay and this is spiritually speaking and for many of you this may actually be physical you may have some folks who you you may have learned of some folks who have had car accidents okay folks that you know you've heard about this because spirit spirit alerted you to this you may have had some folks who have who recently had you know car accidents because they were so focused on you okay and 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 part of this is because like spirit is literally kicking the a's because when it comes to you as the high priest and or priestess spirit ain't playing okay the spirit is, ain't playing and, and these folks are literally uh you know with the conflict that they're literally trying to cause you they are slowly walking into their demise okay there are there are slowly you know sabotaging themselves there's that energy again sabotaging themselves okay um you got some new beginnings coming ace of pentacles all right as the hierophant like you have increased knowledge and you know for many of you because you've given so much of yourself okay you have literally given so much of your of yourself you are you are being given um you are actually rising to new heights in your spiritual life and your spiritual practice and also because this is really tapping into taurus energy which is also earth energy okay there's a lot of abundance coming and for many of you whatever it is that you're doing that requires you to be tapped into spirit 
you're going to get a lot of success and victory, you know, in your finances by continuing to do this. Uh, Spirit wants you to continue to tap into your divinity, continue to reach for the stars, continue to to beam brightly as the star seed, as the light worker here. OK, and this this. This financial new beginning is very serious, y'all. Okay. And this is also relating and this is also seeing this is confirmation here. This is confirmation that this spiritual work that you are doing is really going to bring beginnings in your finances. Like some of you are earning money right now and spirit wants you to know that you have, you haven't even begun to see what is going to be poured upon you. OK, many of you are going to be able to, you know, travel, live in mansions. Your there, your <laughs> your finances are going to allow you to have doors open to you that will allow you to recognize the divine on a new level. OK, and also this is confirmation with this three of cups here. This is confirmation of this commitment that you have here. OK, and, and you got these folks, they see this and look at look at this three of cups and two of cups. So for many of you, this three of cups represents a very, very up, um, an upcoming celebration, something that's real. Ooh, I'm hearing baby shower. OK, I'm hearing baby shower. And I'm hearing first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Scorpio with the baby carriage. Okay, Scorpios. Hey, partnerships. You're in your divine partnerships. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you are in the right place. You are moving in the right direction. Continue to heighten your spiritual, your spiritual, um, heighten yourself through your spiritual work. Okay. Continue to heighten yourself through your spiritual work. Uh, whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to continue to have uh, foresight is what I'm hearing. Uh, this right here, this three of wands is confirmation that um, you are moving towards uh, increase in your insight, increase in your, um, in your ability to see, you know, in your ability to um tap into the divine and you being this light worker like your light is going to shine even brighter so continue to do that work that you are doing because it's bringing increased success and victory okay now hmm let's see i'm gonna use these get some words uh from the ancestors Okay, that was fast. Number 22, resistance. Okay, this is Ancestor Gang Gang Sarah speaking. Mm, I'm really getting this energy of like Mother Earth from here. Like all the planets, Saturn being tapped in. Um, mm, like a divine being who is tapped into Earth energy here. Okay, let's see what, what this ancestor is saying. Um, Spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path. Continue to to rise. Okay. All right. This ancestor gang gang Sarah shadow of resistance Tobago temple shadows. Um, I'm hearing something about whatever it is that you've done in your shadow work is paying off. That's what I'm hearing. Um, temple shadows element bush shadow goddess gang gang Sarah. The Witch of Golden Lane blew into Tobago on a determined breeze from West Africa to emancipate her family. Gang Gang Sarah's Shadow Guidance. You are sacred. <laughs> I have to read that again. You are sacred that you are going. Oh, sacred. Oh, actually, that's not what it said. Mm. It says you are scared. Okay, but we'll take it, Spare. You are sacred. All right now. Okay, you are scared and sacred. <laughs> okay, you are scared that you're going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. A new day, Scorpios. Learn to show up for yourself. All right? You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Stop holding back. 
worrying, and pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance blocks your growth, okay? There's that, there's that resistance, okay? Um, resistance blocks your growth, creativity, and evolution. And weren't we saying something about, you know, your creative powers are going to be increased, okay? Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation, but there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force you really are. Mm. Goddess declaration. This is me. I show up. This is me. I show up. Mm -hmm. You're showing up, Scorpios. Okay? And I'm really getting the sense that this is also your ancestors showing up and showing out through you. You are showing up. Where you may have once been in this state of fear of what others may think, you know, if you show up, because many of you are very familiar of the jealousy and envy and backstabbing that that may come as a result of you showing up. Many of you may have been in this state where you were in, a, in, in, in this, you know, in a state of literally resisting showing up dimming your light because you know the potential of what can happen when you dim your light and spirit is saying let that ish burn let your light burn okay let that flame that you are the flame that you are the thing that they see in you that they want to be okay it's a reason why they want that it's a reason why they're trying to touch that and then uh, and all they is it, you know is falling and they sabotaging themselves because they see something and for many of you and this is why spirit is saying your shadow work whatever it is that you have done recently many of you have engaged in a lot of shadow work you know either through journaling or you know pouring libations whatever it is that you've done you know through uh, you know, requests that you made in the spiritual realm, realm, whatever you did in your shadow work, spirit wants you to know that it is working. Your magic is being brought to the forefront because it is time. And the, and the hesitation that you had regarding bring it, bringing it forward because you thought some folks, you know, because you knew you, you okay. So this is, this is stuff that, you know, you know, what folks are capable of the backstabbing, the, you know, the, 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 the deceitfulness, you know what they're capable of. And you allowed that thought to dim your light and spirit is saying that issue is no more. That issue is no more. You are moving into your power. Okay. And you are literally moving into, you know, your state of, of resilience and building your, your strength through your connection with nature, through your connection with all the elements that exist here. Okay. You ain't playing with nobody. Your third eye is on fleek <laughs> is what I'm hearing. And you are continually connected. And spirit wants you to know that whatever it is that these folks got going on in the background, yeah, they, mm, they sabotaging themselves. Okay. And you're going to continue to build your resilience. All right, y'all. That's the message that, you know, spirit has for you. Uh, if this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and light.